have your own control of your own weight. Um, be be kind and happy and, and think about the, your, your partner. Um, all of that applies to the follows as well. Um, and again, it's not always the lead's fault. Sometimes the teachers are teaching some things that, that will scare people. I've heard two um, comments from instructors that have left me like, what they say in Spanish, fría. It was unbelievable, the things I've heard. In a dance congress, on stage with like 70 people in attendance said, grab her by the, the ribs, just squeeze her. You're gonna see that doesn't move. That, you can't hurt her. And my face just fell. I couldn't believe that I heard that at a dance congress. Um, another time I went to Spain and I was um, training in um, Central Bachata and one of the um, instructors said, because you've agreed to a dance with me, then I have the right to caress you. And thankfully his follow, the, the t instructor corrected him and was like, uh, what he means ladies is contact, that you keep the contact until he releases the hands. And she repeated it like three or four times to try to cover up this statement that already puts you at a very negative space on the dance floor. It is definitely all about consent and enjoying, and there is no right here to anything. If you invite somebody to dance, you do not have the right to do everything that you want to with their body, whether you're female, whether you're male, um, lead, follow, whatever. It is always a conversation, it's always for fun. There's no rights here. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Yeah. Very important thing. So sometimes it's the instructors and sometimes the instructors can be doing a phenomenal job. And then you find out that the students for some reason don't have the body awareness, do not have that ability to absorb that into their body yet. Uh, at that point, maybe.